Oh, it's you again. Is everything all right? So you were able to rescue Ashdaya. Thank the Twelve. Channeling light from the first was rather ingenious. It may fall short of cross-rift travel, but it's still an impressive achievement in my book. You're too kind. Suffice it to say, though, that I don't intend to rest on these laurels. There's always more to be done. Zero stayed in the void, did she? Well, if I had known it would come to that, I would have said a proper farewell. Thanks for what? I don't recall doing anything in particular for her. On the contrary, she's the one who risked life and limb. Still, I'm glad that she got something out of her time here. As the days roll on, things will change for the both of us. But some things will remain as they are. As far as I'm concerned, Zero will always be a friend and comrade. And I will never forget her. If she's working tirelessly to restore the 13th, it wouldn't do to be outdone here. When next Zero visits, we must see to it that you have a shiny new Garlemald to show her. Indeed. And speaking of rebuilding, there's a matter I'd like to discuss with you and Alfino. Word has spread of our dealings with Razat Han, and people are excited by the prospect of standing on our own two feet again. Naturally, it won't be straightforward. It never is. But on the whole, I have a good feeling about things. In other words, it may be time for us to limit our involvement, that Garleans might take the lead? I can see the sense in that. No, no, that's not what I meant at all. Seeing as things are going well, we want you to take a rest. A proper rest. That's what I wanted to say on everyone's behalf. You've done so much for us already. Toiled beside us in the cold for far longer than anyone could ask. You've earned a reprieve a hundred times over. So go on. Step away from here and head wherever you like. But if it were me, I'd choose somewhere warm. I, I was thinking of taking a break anyway. Far be it from us to go against such a heartfelt request. Though I would be lying were I to say matters here wouldn't weigh on our minds. We could take a leaf out of Zero's book and roam about for a while. Maybe visit nations who share little history with Garlemald. Look for opportunities to foster future relations. We might learn something of recent foreign affairs that has escaped our notice. Hmm. 
As an independent party, we would be well suited to the task. An excellent idea, Alizé. Well, that hardly sounds like a rest at all. To us, it is the best kind of rest. Stimulating and meaningful. If it's settled, then let's return to Charlian and consider our options. What about the rest of you? Do you have any plans? We're indebted to Lord Fortuno and his colleagues for their cooperation. It would be meet to report on the outcome of our mission. Then it seems we are all bound for Charlian. Upon arriving, let us seek out Athelise at the Rostra and have her notify father.
Ah, yes. The king has already shared what they glimpsed in the source. The day is won, and the danger past. Hearing the tidings lifted a great weight from my shoulders. Never before had I taken on such a monumental request. Small though it was, we are glad to have played a role in saving the Exarch's home. And yours. Furthermore, the endeavor served to reaffirm the bond between the peoples of Norvrant. Nurturing this bond, we will strive to be an example for the world Zero aspires to restore. Within. Using darkness from the void to restore balance to this world. If such a thing could be done! Well, well. Though night has returned to our world, darkness cannot arise of its own accord, much less in abundance. But, if it could be brought here, in like manner to how we channeled light to the void, it may well be possible to restore the empty in its entirety. Do you still have that spirit vessel with you? If so, I beg you loan it to me for a time. I would use it to investigate a way to have the tower receive rather than send energy. Thank you. While I make no promises at this stage, I shall rigorously explore the possibility. I too need to explore new possibilities for my powers. My recent experience at Nabatha Rang has taught me that. To that end, I will set aside botany for a time, and focus instead on myself. Knowing Zero is out there, doing her utmost to restore her own world. It inspires me to redouble my efforts. There you are. I waited and waited, but you never came. What have you been doing here? I know you. Ugh. I never agreed to anything of the sort. Besides, coffee biscuits are old news. I'd rather try something else. Well, no matter. The second serving has something for every taste. So let's just go. Enough about that. What were you talking about? Harnessing darkness from the void. Now there's an idea. Of 
course, if you're dealing with darkness, Reen alone won't cut it. Next time, call on me as well, alright? <laughs> it cannot be. <laughs> oh, Vashan, my darling little brother, <laughs> to think that I will never see you again. The way you carry on, anyone would think he was actually your brother. Save your tears now. His Excellency still has one of his eyes. And he has made it clear he intends to continue using his vessel. You'll see Varshan again. Never fear. Truly? But will it be the little one? Personally, I prefer the adult vessel. It cuts a gallant figure and his superior functionality besides. Bah. I don't care about such things. My little brother is little and adorable. Sisters, give me strength. It's a fine thing being so loved. Had enough of the revelry, have you? So, what's next for our hero? No need to decide just yet. You'll recall our escapades in the void began with a treasure map I paid entirely too much guilt for. You can't force an adventure. It'll happen when it happens. And you'll know when the time is right. Till then, it's good to lend an ear to others and their tales. And speaking of others... Discussing each other's plans, are we? Alas, I have nothing exciting to share. I foresee an extended confinement in my Charlian chambers, compiling my theories on cross-rift travel. My research may be classified, prohibited by the path that be. But so long as a bond exists between people, ever shall our worlds be connected. As it stands, a means to travel to the first is within reach, and I would be satisfied even should my research not exist in an official capacity. And what of you, Estinian? Have you any plans? <laughs> he never was one to stay put for long, though I've no doubt he will make himself known when needed.
Everything appears to be in order. Oh! Oh, finished at last! So time-consuming. How nice would it be to have a mammoth to handle such tasks? Now then, let's have a look at you. Quite old, this letter. We'll need to store it carefully. Addressed to Grandfather, and come all the way from Tuliolo, from a Gulu... someone. Oh, the ink's too faded. Hardly anything is legible. Come on, give me something. Commission to investigate the Golden City in Tural. How odd. No one ever mentioned such a commission, nor have I seen any records. Hmm. Something else in here. Unusual earring. How does it relate to the petition, I wonder? Oh, did you go there, Grandfather? To the Golden City in Tural? <sighs> Back again already, after making a show of leaving. Well, this is it, Charlene. Quite a far cry from Tuliola, yes? Come, let's go and find your candidate, our adventurer friend.